Hi, this is Brandon Staggs, owner of StudyLamp Software and designer of Sword Searcher Bible Software. In this video, I'm going to show you an overview of Sword Searcher. You'll see how the program is laid out, what the main study areas are for, and start to get a feel for how Sword Searcher can benefit your Bible study. You're looking at the main Sword Searcher window. At the top is the main toolbar, where some of the most often used functions can be accessed. This is the Bible panel, where chapters of the Bible are displayed. Here is the Books and Dictionaries panel. This area contains library resources like regular books, dictionaries, and topical guides. I'll normally call it the Book panel. And this is the Commentary panel. A library resource is considered a commentary when all of its entries are tied to specific passages of the Bible. Let's take a closer look at the Bible panel. One of the first things you want to be able to do is go to a passage in the Bible. An easy way to do this is with the pull-down book and chapter selectors here. I'm going to Matthew chapter 9. I could also simply type the book, chapter, or verse reference in the go to verse box here. The right hand side of the Bible panel is the margin area. These margin links give you one click access to all of the relevant library material on a verse. All of the commentaries and dictionaries in the world are only useful if you can efficiently access the material in them. Sword Searcher makes getting to related material instantaneous with these margin links. For example, look at Matthew 9 verse 1. Next to the verse text are links to study material that reference this verse. The first group of links are to commentaries on this verse. When I pass the mouse pointer over a link, I see a preview of the commentary text. When I click the link, the text is opened in the commentary panel. The next group of links in the Bible margin are to books that reference this verse. Books often have more than one entry referencing a particular verse, so when I pass the mouse pointer over a book link, I see the list of linked entries. Clicking the link allows me to select among the entries and view the entries in the book panel. Notice how the verse I'm studying is highlighted. You control which items in your library appear in the margin area. Sword Searcher lets you choose which books and commentaries it links next to the Bible text. You can have as many or as few items linked here as you like. And if you don't want to see any links at all, you can toggle off the margin area with one click. The Bible panel can also show chapters in paragraph mode. Now let's take a closer look at the book panel. This is the entry selector for books. You can pull down the complete list of entries in the book, or you can simply type the name of the entry you want to view. Notice that when I pass the mouse pointer over a verse link, the text of the verse pops up so I can read it without going to the Bible panel. This makes it easier to study cross-references without getting distracted from what you're currently studying in the Bible panel. Also, when I pass the mouse pointer over a verse link like this one, the pop-up shows the verse in context with a few verses before and after visible. Clicking the link would set the Bible panel to the linked verse. As I mentioned before, you can type directly into the entry selector. The entry list is filtered as I type. Library resources are shown as tabs. Sword Searcher lets you decide which tabs should be shown, and it's easy to hide tabs you aren't interested in. Each library resource has its own abbreviation. Right now I'm looking at Fawcett, which is Fawcett's Bible Dictionary. If I hold the mouse pointer over a tab, I can read the full title. Notice that the Morris Bible Dictionary tab is highlighted. This tells me that the Morris Dictionary also has an entry with the same name as the one I'm currently reading. In this case, I'm reading the Fawcett Dictionary on ship, so if I click the Moorish tab, I'll be able to see the Moorish Dictionary entry on the same subject. Now I'll show you the Commentary panel. This is the entry selector for commentaries. 
You can pull down the list of verses that have commentary text, or you can type a verse reference directly into the selector. Several of the commentary tabs are highlighted. This tells me that those commentaries also have entries on this verse. There's one more panel you will usually see in the Sword Searcher main window. To open it, I'll do a quick Bible search. I've done a Bible search for the word friend. The search result panel opens a verse list to show me all of the verses in the Bible that contain the word. The verse reference tags offer a quick context preview and can be clicked to set the Bible panel and examine the complete passage the verse appears in. The verse list works much like the Bible panel. You can even turn on margin links for the verse list. Sword Searcher gives you a very large study library and accessing books in the library is easy. You've already seen how library tabs work. Another way to get to books in your library is with the module selector tool. I'm going to the File menu to choose Select Library Module. Here I could see all of the library resources I have in Sword Searcher. They are organized by type, starting with Bibles, then Books, and finally Commentaries. I can scroll down and select an item to load it in the appropriate panel. Or I can begin typing to filter the list to find a title I already know. I can also go to the Bible, Book, or Commentary menu to open the Module Selector tool for just one type of library resource. Now I'll show you a way to begin a topical Bible study. I'm going to the Topic and Verse Guide by clicking on the Topic Guide button on the toolbar. This is the Topic and Verse Guide. It's used to access library resources either by topic or verse reference. In this case, I want to start a topical study. I'm typing a word into the Topic Guide. The Topic Guide instantly shows me every book, dictionary, topic guide, or encyclopedia that has an entry on the topic I've specified. I can click the items in the list to view the text in the appropriate panels, and the Topic Guide stays open until I'm finished using it. In this demonstration, you've seen how Sword Searcher is designed to empower you with the fast and efficient means for Bible study on your computer. If you're interested in learning more about Sword Searcher's tools and features, be sure to watch additional videos. Or better yet, get Sword Searcher and try it out for yourself. This video is only given a general overview and there's a lot more to discover and explore. Thank you for taking the time to learn about Sword Searcher. I hope it will become a valued part of your Bible study.